Hi, I'm Dr. Mangesh Kamath. I'm a senior consultant medical oncologist, hematologist oncologist and bone marrow transplant physician. I practice at my own center, Helios Cancer and Hematology Clinics in Bangalore and the Fortis Cancer Institute in Bangalore. Cancer is not one disease. Cancer basically means that there are abnormal cells which start at different organs of the body and then grow into large proportions and thereafter spread to different parts of the body. So the behavior of a lung cancer will be largely different from the behavior of an ovarian cancer. The behavior of a bone cancer will be a lot different from the behavior of a brain cancer. So it is important for us to know this fact that cancer is not a single disease. Blood cancer is treated differently from breast cancer. Right? So, what constitutes cancer treatment? Somebody who comes and tells I am undergoing treatment for cancer is giving a vague statement. For example, if a lady has breast cancer, then if the lady has to be taking the best treatment for her breast cancer, it could incorporate the treatment with chemotherapy, with surgery and radiation also. But in blood cancer, there is no surgery. There is only systemic therapy or chemotherapy that you would like to call. And along with systemic therapy, there could be the addition of certain targeted therapy. So let me start with surgical oncology. The branch of surgical oncology is the oldest branch, which deals with the surgical removal of a visible tumor. When I say visible, it doesn't mean that it is visible to the eyes. It could be visible in the scans. So once the tumor is removed, it is largely believed that while the visible tumor is not there, there is the invisible tumor that needs to be encountered. There are tumor cells which are going to be circulating in your blood and some tumor cells which could have also reached other parts of the body such as an other organ like liver or lung, which if left alone can give rise to a stage 4 or a metastatic disease. So how do we prevent this from happening? Is by giving systemic therapy or medicines or chemotherapy or targeted therapy. Now, this treatment systemically of cancer is the branch of medical oncology. So I am a medical oncologist. So my branch of treating cancers does not only involve giving chemotherapy. It could be giving hormonal therapy. It could be giving what you call as targeted therapy or lock and key therapy, which I would like to call it, immunotherapy, apart from chemotherapy. Now, the branch of medical oncology is a lot diverse than thought to be. Remember one thing, that certain cancers such as the breast cancer and the prostate cancer don't even require chemotherapy in many instances. Certain cancers such as blood cancer, which were known to be the most devastating aggressive cancers, are curable today because of giving certain chemotherapy or targeted therapy. Certain cancers which were largely known to be a death spell are being treated by a medical oncologist to not only achieve cure in the earlier stages but also to control when the patient presents in advanced stages. Apart from this, there is a branch of radiation oncology which helps to give radiation therapy and treat certain cancers such as the cancers of the head and neck, such as oral cancers or cervix cancers, which largely cannot be removed by surgery. These are three main branches, but we also need the help of our colleagues in radiology, pathology, and several other branches are required to give holistic cancer care.